Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do less than five minute crafts. We are going to use items from the Dollar Tree and make three trays and one set of egg holders. And these are all done or all able to be done in less than five minutes. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. So for project number one, we're going to need some eggs, some floral moss, two candlesticks, and a basket from the Dollar Tree. Don't you just love things that you can do in less than five minutes? These are simple and easy crafts that you can use for your decor or your tablescapes, and they're just adorable. So we're going to first start by taking this basket and just weave some ribbon. It takes a less than a minute to weave it all the way around and it gives it such a cute look. I had woven the pink one already and I did it at the top and then turned it over and slid it down to the bottom and then came back in with some dark pink ribbon. I did not leave out the first one intentionally. I forgot to hit play. <laughs> so I'm still going to show you guys how I did it. One tip to doing this is don't cut your ribbon from the spool. Leave it on the spool. As you can see, my spool is in the corner as I'm weaving. This eliminates the end to start coming out while you're doing the beginning, if that makes sense. I think it makes sense, doesn't it? It keeps it in place. <laughs> and then when you get to the end, all you have to do is add a little hot glue to the basket and fold your ribbon over and it will stay in place. Be sure to, when you're doing the end of this and you're gluing it to the basket and you have to cut the ribbon, don't cut the existing ribbon that's already on there. <laughs> I almost did that guys. I got to the end and I went to cut it and I didn't realize my scissors had gone a little too far down and almost cut the pink ribbon I already had in place. So don't do that. Okay, like I said, just add a little dab of hot glue and pull your ribbon over. This avoids burning your fingers, which I do on a daily basis. And it just gives that basket a really cute look. Using some E6000, put it on top of your candlestick. I also added a little hot glue because it takes about a day for the E6000 to dry. So just to so it's secure and it's not, you don't have to use a weight. Just add a little hot glue to secure it. I opted to not paint my candlestick. Now you could paint this white and that would be super cute also. I just wanted to use it as is, as the glass, clear glass. So place your basket on top of the candlestick, press down a little bit and then add E6000 to your second candlestick and a little bit of hot glue. Flip it over and attach it to the candlestick that's already holding the basket. So you're gonna have a candlestick, a basket, and another candlestick. Now using some floral moss because that's what I had on hand. This would be super cute also with some Easter grass, um, different colors. I don't have small children anymore, so I didn't have Easter grass, but I did have floral moss. So I added it to the top of the candlestick, which is actually the bottom, and I put some in the basket. And then with some pink buffalo check ribbon, I tied a bow on the candlestick that's on top of the basket and that will actually sit inside the basket just to add some more color for the Easter season. You can decorate this any way you want. You could put candy in this basket. I had some eggs, so I'm just showing you how you can decorate it with the eggs. But this would be super cute to put like chocolate eggs or Reese's cups, my favorite, <laughs> any way you want. So there it is, just a cute little fast DIY and this would be great to put on your table or maybe a side table for to hold some candy. I mean endless possibilities with how you could decorate this. I put my Easter little ceramic Easter bunny on it just to show you a different way that you could use this and again I didn't have any candy in the house so I used my Easter eggs. 
Now, taking that ceramic Easter Bunny, we're going to do project number two. This is probably the quickest project. So putting some E6000 and some hot glue on top of the bunny head, we are going to secure a plate from the Dollar Tree. But like I said before, the hot glue holds it in place and lets the E6000 dry. It actually, I know the bunny head looks rounded, but it actually kept it pretty flat. And I was happy with how this turned out. That one you can do in less than two minutes. And I put a little burlap ribbon and some pink buffalo chuck ribbon. And I just put this, that looks like a real chocolate Easter egg. It actually is from Marshall's. It's a decoration. But this would be so cute on a tablescape or for your Easter day if you want to display cupcakes or candy you know just simple and easy so there it is on my table i found i stole some of my son's um hostess cupcakes to show you what it would look like with a cupcake on it but super cute i found these adorable beads at dollar tree and using four of the dollar tree shot glasses i pretty sure they come either two in a pack or four in a pack for a dollar. I added some pearls and then I added those colorful beads, which as you can see are getting away from me and they're going all over my crafting table. So I just layered it. I you This is another project you could paint. I wanted quick and easy, and you, as we all know, adding paint into the mix, you have to wait for it to dry, you have to add more coats. So this was just staying with the quick and easy theme. I decided to make these little glasses come alive by using the pearls and the colorful beads. I have these eggs as part of my Easter decor. I just wanted to show you that they are, the shot glass holds these eggs perfectly. So if you have some Easter eggs that you want to display, this is the perfect way to do it. Like I said, you could paint these. That would be awesome too. But I was going for quick and easy, so I decided to use the pearls and the beads. If you watch my acrylic pour egg video, these would display those beautifully. It adds height. It gets them, instead of just laying them down, it adds the height to show them off. And if they fit inside those little shot glasses perfectly. And I keep saying perfectly, and I'm so sorry. So for this final project, you're gonna need three dollar store plates and two of these incense burners. I'm gonna add some E6000 and some hot glue, just like we did to the other ones, to the top. I'm gonna do this in sections. So I'm gonna take one incense burner Add the E6000, add the hot glue, put a plate on it, and then I'm going to take another one and do the same exact thing. I know when you see the end result, I actually wasn't paying attention and I didn't put the plates on Summer Crooked, which actually was a happy accident because I liked them being crooked. I liked them not all being straight. It added just a different dynamic to the whole piece. And I thought it was pretty cute when it, it was, like I said, a happy accident. So you want to do, like I said, these each in sections. Once you have the two sections together, then flip it over, add some E6000 and some hot glue to the bottom, and then you can attach it to the existing, the, okay, let's rewind and start over. Flip it over, add your hot glue in E6000, and add this one to your third plate, the plate that you don't have it attached to an incense burner. Okay, there we go. Now, once you do that, then you can add the second layer in the other one that you had already attached. And boy, I not drunk really i'm not i know i'm like rambling i'm not trying to but okay let's keep going here so we'll do the same thing add it e6000 hot glue to the bottom of that one and then attach it to the stack that you have going 
This was so cute. Out of all four of them, this one is probably my favorite just because this can be used for more than just Easter. You can decorate the inside of these little incense burners for every single holiday. Look at that. It's so cute. I took, I actually, I told you guys I didn't have Easter grass, but I actually had an Easter basket when I looked through my decorations that had some in it. And it was purple, my favorite color. So that worked out really good. So I took some of that Easter grass and I put it inside and I just added a couple eggs. Like I said, you could use this for Christmas. You could use this for St. Patty's Day, Valentine's Day. You could decorate the inside of those any way you want for any holiday. And then you can use the tray on your tablescape also for cupcakes or candy, anything you want. Or you can just use that uh, in your kitchen as a decoration or pretty much anywhere in the house as a decoration. And if there isn't a holiday going, you can put it in your bedroom and use it for your bracelets or rings pretty much this is pretty versatile which I love and this also took less than five minutes to do it probably took more time for me to decorate it than to put it together <laughs> but that's just me so like I said super cute I love the way this one turned out this one is my favorite so I decided to put my favorite bunny on it I got that bunny last year at Marshall's I love that little bunny and then I just opted to put some eggs on the remaining trays to show you so cute I just oh there there, that's what I've been waiting for. Those little foam eggs are from Dollar Tree this year and they're glittery and vibrant and I love those little foam eggs. I need to go back and get me another package. So there's that tray. Like I said, simple, easy. If you have a lot of family coming over for Easter or you're hosting Easter this year, these trays will make the perfect addition to help you display your candy or your cupcakes or decorations any way you want to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this less than five minute DIYs from Dollar Tree. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing it right. And as always, I love y'all and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. See y'all again soon. Bye y'all.